needs more sugar. Hello, my name is Nadia Lee Owens, and this is my new booktube channel by Black and Bookish. I'm so excited and incredibly nervous to do this. A quick little debrief about myself. I'm in my mid-20s and I live in the infamous state of Florida. I work full-time as a software developer, so of course I have a degree in computer science but I also have a degree in creative writing because I'm hoping one day to work full-time as a writer or a narrative designer, which is notoriously difficult to get into. Um, but for now, I gotta pay off my student loans, so it is what it is. I actually have a little poetry book I published last year on itch.io, uh, so you can check that out. And I also have some poetry and personal essays published in a poetry magazine called Neptune. I'll provide a link to both of those in the description below. I have no previous connections to the online book communities, no book talk because I don't have a TikTok, no bookstagram because I'm not that active on Instagram, and book Twitter is something I simply just lurk on sometimes. So I have zero clue what possessed me to start this channel. With that being said, let's get started with the questions. For the first two questions, I'm just going to combine them together because they have similar answers. Why did I start this channel and what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? For the past few years, I've been watching a lot of booktube channels but I noticed that most booktubers tend to focus primarily on traditional books, specifically YA. I rarely see people talk about more experimental mediums of storytelling like graphic novels, manga, or even fan fiction and video games like Mr. Crap overdoses on ketamine and dies. I do want to push the boundaries of what's considered storytelling. I also want to discuss the writing process as well, being a writer myself. In the near future, I'm hoping to have discussions with other writers in my area that I know about their own writing processes and what they read that inspires them. What are you most excited for about this new channel? I think the thing I'm most excited for is talking to all of you. I know it's a cheesy answer, but that's the truth. <laughs> I'm usually really shy, but when it comes to talking about things that I have an interest in, I can rant for hours and I can't wait to rant with all of you. Why do you love reading? I've loved reading for as long as I can remember. Since I was a daughter of a reading teacher, I was always strongly encouraged to read and I simply enjoy the escapism that reading provides, the ability to step into a situation, person, or place completely different from your own. I think that gives people an opportunity to practice empathy from a young age. What book or series got you into reading? So there are were three book series that I remember being truly obsessed with when I was younger. The earliest, I believe, was Nancy Drew. I just thought Nancy was so cool and smart, and I was absolutely in love with her tomboyish friend George, who was definitely a huge old lesbian. The other series was Little House on the Prairie. I used to beg my mom to take me to the library in order to check out the next book in the series. The last is the Dear America series, specifically the Royal Diaries. History education in American public schools isn't the best, especially for history that isn't centered around white people. And the Dear America series, at least in my opinion, did a good job in telling stories from histories that are about diverse experiences. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers and what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? My two favorite booktubers at the moment will be Read with Cindy, though I'm pretty sure she changed it to Simply with Cindy recently, and also a fairly new booktuber called The Secondhand Librarian. I think she started her channel about two months ago and it's just so cool how she has her own bookstore. 
And I guess my main question would also be what I'm most concerned about and will probably be my biggest concern about this channel, which is how to maintain a schedule. Not just maintaining a schedule for uploading videos, but writing the script, editing, and even reading. I know that since I also have a full-time job, I'm gonna have to be really strict with myself and I can't imagine how other booktubers do it. When did you start reading? Basically, as soon as I learned how to read, actually it's sort of a miracle that I love reading so much because I very clearly remember my mom teaching me how to read using those Disney's wonderful world of reading books from the 90s slash early aughts and it was terrible. Having a parent as a teacher is a traumatic experience I wouldn't wish upon anyone. Where do you read? Literally anywhere, uh, but usually in the living room near my bookcase during the day and in my bed right before going to sleep. What kind of books do you like to read? I used to be really into YA supernatural slash fantasy, but now that I'm older and wiser, I found the typical YA protagonist really annoying. Lately, I've been getting more into thriller novels like my sister the serial killer in listening to romance audiobooks while working like the reluctance royal series what does your book collection look like let me show you so this is my bookcase i have all of my books organized by genre like nonfiction, graphic novels sci-fi as you can see my supernatural fantasy section is the biggest and then i also have quite a few cookbooks. It'll be cool doing a series reviewing them as well. Well, that's all the questions. It's been real fun. I really hope you guys stick around to see my next video where I rank the male and female protagonists of five books that I've read in the past year, which will be uploaded alongside this one. Leave a comment or follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Inley Owens if you have any questions, suggestions, or if you just want to talk. Bye!